Hi friends, this is Naresh. This is my 16th lecture on uh, design of mission members two subject. In this uh, in this session, I am going to explain about uh, design of a engine cylinder, IC engine cylinder and the liners with a suitable example problem. Before going to the problem, first of all, we need to know the basic steps involved in the design of uh, engine cylinder on liners. So the first step is uh, you have to find out the bore diameter and length of the cylinder. Okay. For this purpose, uh, this is the diagram for uh, cylinder with the piston. Okay. Here, this is the wall thickness thickness of the thickness of the cylinder this is a th okay this is the th or t okay sorry t t is the thickness of the wall okay the this is the hole so it looks like a hollow cylinder so the inside diameter the inside diameter is called bore bore or uh, diameter of the cylinder that is a capital D okay capital D is the diameter of the bore or diameter of the piston here you can consider diameter of the piston equal to diameter of the bore diameter of the bore equal to capital D and this one is the outside diameter of the here from here to here this this one is outer diameter of the cylinder okay D naught is the outer diameter of the cylinder and this one is the piston this pin is a piston pin or gudgeon pin this one is a connecting rod okay this is the crank shaft and a crank crank mechanisms okay here this is the stroke length from here to here this is a stroke length okay that is a ls this is the stroke length ls and this is the length original length or length of the cylinder Okay, this is the length of the cylinder. LS is the length of the cylinder, LS the stroke length. Here, uh, the length of the cylinder is equal to 1.15 times the length of the stroke length. Okay. Here, here I consider length of the cylinder, length of the cylinder LC, LC equal to 1.1 times the length of the stroke length okay so here first of all you have to find out the value of stroke length ls okay we need to calculate the length of stroke it is very important for uh, this design of uh, engine cylinders so for that uh, if you want to find out this ls value we need uh, indicated power and brake power values Okay, IP and BP values. So the formula for the indicated power, IP is the indicated power, IP equal to PM LS AN by 60 is the formula for indicated power. Okay, here LS is the stroke length, PM, PM is the mean effective pressure, A is the cross-sectional area of the cylinder. Okay, here pi by 4 D square, pi by 4 D square is the area of the cylinder. N is the speed okay speed of the engine that is equal to speed of the crankshaft okay here uh, another formula is there for indicated power indicated power ip equal to brake power by mechanical efficiency okay if you know the value of bp and mechanical efficiency from this formula you will get the answer indicated power then after you have to substitute this indicated power value in this equation then you will get the answer for LS value. Okay. So LS equal to stroke length and LS equal to 1.1, 2 2 times the diameter of the bore and A is the cross section area of the bore that is pi by 4 D square. You have to consider inner diameter only for uh, considering the cross section area. Okay. D is the inner diameter of the cylinder that is bore diameter and pm is the mean effective pressure that is uh, in newton per mm square newton per mm square and newton per meter square and is the speed of the engine here uh, very uh, one important one 
is there that is uh, n n is the speed of the engine the value of n equal to n for a two stroke engine okay you have to consider direct value n equal to n for two stroke engine but in case of four stroke engines you have to consider half of the speed of the engine for uh, this formula okay you have to substitute the value of uh, half of the speed for four stroke uh, engines okay capital D is the inner diameter of the bow, inner diameter of the cylinder or bow diameter of the inner cylinder, D naught is the outer diameter of the cylinder, T is the thickness of the cylinder, okay, this one is the thickness of the cylinder. Here uh, Poisson's ratio 1 by m or mu or uh, mu equal to 0 0.25, 0 0.25 to 0 0.3, there is no units for uh, Poisson's ratio, okay. These are the formulas for uh, finding out the say, diameter of the bore and the stroke length of the cylinder and the length of the cylinder. Okay, here only four formulas is the main main. Here you can observe here this formula, this formula, this formula, and this one. Okay, these four formulas are very important for finding out the size of uh, bore, stroke length and uh, length of the cylinder. So this is the first step and uh, second step is in st second step you have to find out the thickness of the cylinder wall. Okay, thickness of the cylinder wall uh, means uh, this one. Okay. This is the this is the wall thickness. Okay, this is a T. Okay, you have to find out the sort of wall thickness of the wall. Okay, this is a, in second step. You have to find out the sort of wall, wall thickness. So T is the thickness of the wall. The formula for uh, T equal to P D by two into sigma C plus C. Okay, this formula is obtained from our uh, previous subject that is mechanics of solids. Okay, mechanics of solids are strength of material subject. Okay, there is a concept uh, thin and thick uh, pressure vessels. Okay, from that from that uh, concept, the this form is obtained. So T is the thickness of the cylinder. T equal to P D by two sigma C plus C. Here P is the inside maximum pressure. Capital D is the inner diameter of the cylinder. Sigma C is the circumferential stress. Okay, sigma C is the circumferential stress. Sigma means stress. C refers circumferential. So, circumferential stress. Sigma C equals circumferential stress. Okay. Here, capital C is the reboring elements. Capital C is the constant value. This capital C value is obtained from this tabular form. Okay. By, this, by using this tabular form, we have to select a sortable value of uh, reboring value capital C from corresponding diameter uh, from corresponding bore diameter okay uh, here ma P is the maximum inside gas pressure uh, if the value of a gas maximum inside gas pressure is not given then we have to consider the value of P equal to 9 9 to 10 times the value of uh, mean effective pressure okay T is the thickness of the liner or cylinder wall, capital C is the elements for reboring. Okay, this table is uh, very important for uh, for taking the value of C. And uh, by using these uh, values, uh, after finding out the value of T, okay, after finding out the value of T, you have, you have to find the stresses induced in the wall. Okay. That is a uh, apparent longitudinal stress and uh, apparent circumferential stress. This is the apparent longitudinal stress sigma L equal to d square p by d naught square minus d square, and this is apparent circumferential stress sigma c equal to sigma c equal dp by 2t or uh, sigma ut by fs. Here sigma ut is the ultimate tensile stress, fs is the factor of safety. Okay. After finding out the longitudinal stress and circumferential stress. You have to find out the value of net long stress and net circumferential stress. This is the formula for net long stress. 
1 by m is the Poisson's ratio, sigma l and sigma c is obtained from these two formulas. Okay. And this is the net circumference uh, sigma c net. Okay. So these uh, these steps are not very important in our uh, problems. Okay, up to this uh, up to this formula, these formulas are very important for uh, finding out the value of thickness. Okay, after finding out the value of t uh, by using the value of t, you have to consider uh, thickness of the dry liner and the thickness of the water jet wall and uh, water space between the outer cylinder wall and the inner cylinder inner jacket wall okay so these are the formulas for uh, water jacket wall thickness and uh, space between the outer outer cylinder wall and the in, and the inner jacket wall okay now the step 3 is uh, thickness of cylinder flange and the studs or bolts in the Third step, you have to find out the sortable studs or bolts for uh, for assembling the cylinder cover plate, cylinder cover plate or a cylinder flange. Okay, cylinder flange is used for uh, cover the top surface of the engine cylinder. Okay, to close the uh, cylinder top surface, we are using cylinder flange. Okay. For uh, joining the cylinder and the cylinder flange, we are using studs. Okay, studs having uh, both sides uh, threads. Okay, by using these studs, uh, we are uh, we are joining the engine cylinder and the cylinder flange. Okay, here the main uh, dimensions, uh, the size of the the size of this stud also very important for uh, design so that's why uh, here dm dm is the outer diameter of the stud and ds is the inner diameter so uh, core diameter of the stud okay dm is the major diameter or outer diameter okay up to outside diameter here you can consider from here to here up to threads up to threads this is outer diameter okay and uh, this one is the core diameter only solid a uh, solid shop you have to consider for a core diameter so the solid area is called solid solid cross section is called uh, core so ds is the diameter of the core and dm is the outer diameter of the stud but the strength of the bolts and nuts depends upon the core diameter so ds so you in this step you have to find out the sortable core diameter of the bolts okay so here you can observe here the thickness of the cylinder flange and studs or bolts this is the Thickness of a flange that is a cover plate. The thickness of a cover plate TF equal to 1.2 times the thickness of the wall. Okay, that the value of T is obtained uh, from second step. Okay, by using uh, this value, you have to find out the sortable flange thickness TF equal to 1.2 into T. Okay, after getting this uh, flange thickness, you have to find out the number of studs or number of bolts required to join the cylinder and uh, cylinder flange. Yeah, the NS is the number of number of bolts or number of studs required. The minimum number of studs required equal to 0.01 D plus 4. Here capital D is the bore diameter or inner diameter of the cylinder. Okay, maximum number of studs equal 0.02 D plus 4. By using uh, these two formulas, you have to select a number of uh, studs required. Okay, and this is the outside diameter of the stud okay this is outside diameter of the stud okay from here to here this is outside and uh, here this is the inner diameter or core diameter okay ds is the core diameter so this one is the very important so the ma maximum or uh, outside diameter dm equal to ds by 08 okay 
and these are the pitch of stats uh, this is the minimum pitch this is maximum pitch now the formula for uh, ds this is the formula for ds okay diameter core diameter of the stats ds equal to square root of d square p by ns into sigma ts here ns the uh, total number of studs required and sigma t is the tangential stress for uh, stud material d is the bore diameter p is the maximum inside gas pressure in the cylinder okay by using these values uh, you will get the value of ds after getting the value of ds you will you will find out the value of uh, outside diameter that is dm okay from this uh, formula you will get the value of dm after getting the outside diameter uh, you have to find out the pitch of this pitch of the studs okay dp equal to capital d plus 3 this is the pitch circle of the studs pitch, uh, pitch of the studs means the distance between two successive studs is called pitch okay minimum pitch required uh, is equal to 90 square root of dm and the maximum pitch required equal 28.5 square root of dm okay now this is the formula for a sigma ts uh, here here if we, the value of sigma ts is not given in our problem then you can choose value between 35 to 70 70 megapascal okay you can take uh, 40 50 or 60 for uh, stud materials okay if it is not given in our problem then you can consider value between 35 to 70 okay it is very important don't consider okay if uh, if the value of sigma ts in our question then don't consider this uh, value if not given in our problem then you have to consider now the final step for the design of uh, engine cylinder is uh, thickness of cylinder head. Okay, the cylinder head may be approximately taken as a flat circular plate uh, whose thickness th may be determined from the following relations. So this is the formula for uh, thickness of the cylinder head. Here p is the maximum inside gas pressure, d is the bore diameter, sigma c is the circumferential stress sigma c equal to sigma t equal to sigma ut by fs ultimate stress by factor of safety the value of uh, sigma c is also obtained from our uh, uh, step one formulas okay if uh, the value of sigma c is not given in, uh, in our problem then you consider uh, sigma c equal to 35 to 50 mega pascal okay now i am going to explain a is a suitable example on design of cylinders so this is the problem for uh, design of cylinder engine cylinder or cylinder liners so the problem is a four stroke diesel engine has the following speci specifications brake power equal to 5 kN speed equal to 1200 rpm indicated mean effective pressure equal to 0.35 and mechanical efficiency equal to 80 percent um, factor of safety equal to 5 uh, then here by using these uh, specifications you have to find uh, bore or length of the cylinder and the thickness of the cylinder wall and net stresses size of size of the studs for the cylinder head and fourth one is the uh, thickness of the cylinder head okay this is the question by using uh, these specifications you have to find out the bore and length of the cylinder thickness of the cylinder wall size of the studs and thickness of the cylinder head okay so this is a design of a four stroke diesel engine cylinder okay so here yeah, four stroke diesel engine is given so that means you have to consider capital n equal to n by 2 n equal to n by 2 you have to consider speed half of the speed only for four stroke engines okay for four stroke engines you have to consider half of the speed it is very important and here the brake power that is a uh, bp is given that is a uh, brake power equal to bp okay and uh, this uh, speed is equal to n okay in our problem you have to consider n equal to half of the speed that is equal to 
1200 by 2 equals 600 only 600 rpm only you have touched for four stroke engines okay and indicated mean effective pressure that is uh, pm indicated mean effective pressure means pm pm equal to 0 0.35 newton per mm square okay the values are in mm okay newton per mm square and uh, this one is the mechanical efficiency so that is a zeta zeta is the symbol of uh, efficiency and uh, here the mechanical efficiency is uh, given that is zeta uh, mech zeta mech equal to mechanical efficiency and the factor of safety is given that is a uh, fs fs value is given and by using these values uh, you have to find bore bore means the uh, capital d inside diameter of the cylinder and the length of the cylinder that means lc and thickness of the cylinder that is a capital t okay and net stresses net stresses means uh, net lung stress net circumferential stress and the size of the studs size of the studs and the cylinder head so that means uh, d s okay core diameter core diameter of the bolt and outside diameter of the bolt dm and ds you have to find the values of dm and ds and thickness of the cylinder head that is a t h okay these are the given values in our problem okay once again uh, i will repeat the given data brake power 5 kilowatts is given 1 kilowatt equal 1000 so 5000 watts is given and uh, mean effective pressure equal to 0 0.35 newton per mm square if you want to convert this value into meters then you have to multiply with 10 power 6 because uh, 1 mm 1 mm equal to 1 by 1000 1 by 1000 meters so for uh, mm square equal to 10 power 6 okay. uh, mechanical efficiency zeta mech equal to 80 percent so you have to remove if you want to remove this percentage then you have to divide with 100 that is 80 by 100 equal to 0 0.8 fs is the factor of safety and the speed of the engine n equal to 1200 rpm so then you have to consider n equal to n by 2 for four stroke engine okay so it is very important uh, in our in our question four stroke diesel engine is given so you have to consider half of the speed only Okay, that is uh, uh, 1200 by 2 equals 600. Okay, for two stroke engines, you can take uh, n capital n equal to n. Okay, but in our question, four stroke engine is given, so that's why I am taking n small n equal to half of the speed. So now the first step for designing the engine cylinder is uh, step one equal to bore and length of the cylinder already we have discussed uh, about these uh, steps in previous slides so here capital D is the bore diameter that is uh, here this length is bore diameter capital D okay and uh, cross section area of this uh, cylinder equal to 504 D square D is the bore diameter okay by using this cross section area you have to find out the value of area LS is the stroke length okay so the length of the stroke length ls equal to you have to find uh, this value from uh, brake power and indicated power from formulas okay ls equal to 1.25 d to 2d okay the value of ls lies between uh, 1.25 to 2 times the diameter of the bore okay so here i here i consider length of stroke length equal to 1.5 times the diameter okay you may take uh, 1.25 or 1.5 or 2d also but here i consider uh, stroke length equal to 1.5 d okay 1.5 d now, now by using indicated power formula indicated power formula ip equal to brake power by mechanical efficiency this is the formula for indicated power okay by using uh, this formula you have to find out the value of uh, indicated power 
uh, indicated power equal to 62 6250 6, watts by using this indicated power formula uh, you have to find out the value of uh, stroke length the formula for indicated power another formula is there ip equal to pm ls an by 60 okay from this formula you have to find out the value of ls okay so the value of uh, indicated power equal to 6250 is applied from this formula and uh, the value of uh, mean effective pressure is also given in our problem that is a 0.35 newton per mm square okay ls is uh, is considering from this relation that is a 1.5 d here we don't know the value of d so you have to find out the value of d capital a is the cross section area this one is the power for d square and n is the uh, speed of the engine for four stroke engine so you have to consider how of the speed that is uh, 600 by 60 okay after substituting all these values you will get the value of uh, bore diameter that is uh, d equal to inner diameter of the cylinder that is a uh, bore capital d equal 0 0.115 meters okay here all values are substituting in uh, meters that's why i got uh, the i got bore diameter in meters so after getting the diameter by using stroke length formula that is ls equal 1.5 d you have to substitute the value of d the stroke length ls equal to 1.5 d equal to 0 0.172 so uh, the bore diameter equal to 0 0.115 and uh, stroke length equal to 0 0.172 meters okay uh, and the length of the cylinder the length of the cylinder the formula for length of cylinder equal to 1.15 ls okay here and observe here this is the this is the length of this cylinder okay from top to bottom this is the length of the cylinder lc but this is the stroke length the distance between our top dead center and bottom dead center is called stroke length that is l s okay so this is a stroke length this is a cylinder length okay here the cylinder length uh, depends upon stroke length that is 1.15 times the stroke length okay so by using this formula you will get the answer cylinder length cylinder length equal to 2 0 0.2 meters now the second step is uh, thickness of cylinder wall and liner The formula for thickness of the cylinder, thickness of the cylinder wall, T equal to PD by 2 sigma C plus C. P is the maximum inside gas pressure. This value is not given in our problem. Okay, you have to, first of all, you have to find out the value of P. The value of P lies between uh, 9 to 10 times the uh, mean effective pressure. Okay, and uh, capital D is obtained from uh, our step 1, and sigma C value is also not given. Capital C is the rebore size values. Okay, this uh, C value is obtained from tabular form. Okay, this is C value is obtained from this tabular form. The value of C is obtained from corresponding bore diameters. Okay, yeah. T is the thickness of the cylinder wall. C is the allowance for bore reboring. Here, yeah, the value, the bore diameter is obtained from uh, step one is. Uh, 0 0.115 meter that is a uh, 115 mm okay here the value of c for uh, 115 mm diameter here 100 for 100 mm diameter c equal to 2.4 for 150 mm diameter c equal to 4 so but our uh, diameter our bore diameter is 115 by using uh, correlations okay by using correlations so you will get the value of uh, c equal to value of c equal to 0 0.0025 meters okay that is a uh, 2.5 mm the value of uh, c for 115 115 mm diameter equal to 2.5 okay so yeah this is the c 
Okay, the uh, C value is lies between 100 mm and 150 mm. Okay. Here, the value of maximum inside gas pressure is not given. So, the value of maximum gas pressure is uh, lies between uh, 9 to 10 times the mean effective pressure. So, uh, here I consider 10 times the mean effective pressure. So, maximum inside gas pressure P equal to 10 into 0 0.35 10 power 6. 0 0.35 10 power 6 is the value of mean effective pressure. This value is given in our problem. Okay, so the maximum inside gas pressure equal to 3.5 to 10 power 6 newton per meter square. Okay, sigma c value also is not given. Sigma c is the allowable circumferential stress. So here I consider sigma c as uh, as 40 newton per mm square. That is 40 mega pascal because uh, here. The value of C lies between 30 megapascal to 50 megapascal. So that's why I can I am considering uh, 40 and 40 megapascal. Okay, so I consider sigma C equal 40 megapascal or uh, 40 into 10 power 6 newton per meter square. Okay. Now substitute the these values in this uh, formula that is the uh, thickness uh, T equal PD by 2 sigma C plus C formula. The value of C equal to 0. So 0. 0.0025 and D equal to 0. 0.115 diameter and P equal to 3.5 10 power 6 and sigma C equal to 40 in 10 power 6. Okay, so finally the thickness of the cylinder wall equal to 7.5 mm. Okay, this is our required value. Okay, this is the thickness wall thickness of the cylinder. Then after, after finding out the value of T, you have to find out the stresses induced in the cylinder. Okay, capital D is the inside diameter or bore diameter. D naught is the outside diameter. Okay, so outside diameter equal to T, the formula for outside diameter D naught equal to D capital D bore diameter plus two times the thickness. Okay, so the formula for D naught equal to D equal to 0 0.13 meters. Now the Poisson's ratio, the value of Poisson's ratio is already given in our problem. So that value 1 by m or mu equal to 0.25. Okay. The formula for long term stress induced in the cylinder, cylinder material sigma L equal to d square P by D naught square minus D square. So sigma L equal to 12.595 in 10 power 6. And the apparent uh, circumference stress equal to, this value is already uh, already we have taken in uh, step one so that value is 40 mm so there is no need to find value of uh, sigma c okay so these are the stresses induced in the cylinder wall after finding out the apparent uh, stresses you have to find out the net stresses induced in the cylinder wall the formulas for uh, net long stress equal to sigma l net equal sigma l minus sigma c into Poisson's ratio and the formula for net circumferential stress equal to sigma c net equal to sigma c minus sigma l into 1 by m. Okay, these are the two formulas for net stresses induced in the cylinder materials. And after finding out the thickness of the cylinder wall, you have to find out the thickness of the cylinder liners. Okay, and uh, this is the formula for uh, thickness of the cylinder dry liner and the thickness of the water jacket wall equal to, the, equal to this one and the formula for uh, space between outer cylinder wall and inner jacket wall equal to this one okay these are the formulas substitute all uh, values in these formulas you will get the answers okay now i am going to explain about uh, step three that is the uh, thickness of the cylinder flange and uh, size of the studs required to join the flange to join the flange and the engine cylinder okay here the thickness of the flange is obtained from the relation 1.2 times the thickness of the cylinder wall so 1.2 into t to 1.4 t okay t is the thickness of the cylinder wall already we got the value of t in step 2 okay substitute the value of t in this equation you will consider 
T here I consider TF value between 1.2 to 1.3 that is 1.3 T okay so the thickness of the flange equal to 10 mm 9.75 mm but I can tell rounded value that is the 10 mm value and uh, minimum number of studs uh, required for uh, for joining the cylinder wall cylinder and uh, flange this is the formula for uh, minimum number of studs required okay here the minimum number of studs required are uh, six six studs are required minimum uh, six studs are required and maximum number of studs required equal 0 0.02 d plus 4 so here seven studs are uh, maximum number of studs required for the joining the cylinder flange and cylinder okay here the minimum value is six and maximum value is seven so so here number of uh, studs required uh, i consider as a six okay ns equal to number of studs required ns equal to six is obtained from minimum and maximum values and the uh, dm dm is the nominal or outer diameter of the stud and ds is the core diameter okay ds is the core diameter of the stud okay this is a three dimensional view but this one is a conventional view okay the outside diameter equal to dm and uh, core diameter equal to ds in, in this case first you have to find out the value of ds okay the formula for uh, ds equal to ds equal to square root of d square into p by ns into sigma t is ts this is the formula for core diameter of the stud okay here square root of uh, d square in p by ns into sigma t here ns is the number of studs required that is a six and sigma ts is the value lies between 35 to 70 here i consider 50 okay here i consider the value of uh, tensile stress in stud material sigma ts equal to 30 so lies between 35 to 70 so i consider 50 50 newton per mm square okay so this is the figure so this is a flange this is a engine cylinder so in order to join uh, cover plate and uh, cylinder we need a stud okay so this is the arrangement of the stud this is the nut this middle one is the stud and this one is nut okay so after substituting value of uh, d p and n s sigma t s you will get the value of uh, d s core diameter d s equal to 12.4 mm okay and uh, after getting the core diameter you have to find out the value of outer diameter that is a dm dm the major diameter or outer diameter of the bolt or stud equal to dm equal to ds by 0 0.8 okay the value of outside diameter equal 15.52 mm okay this value is the minimum uh, so our uh, our required size of the bolt is 15.52 uh, you may consider rounded value that is 16 mm 16 mm or 17 mm now the pitch circle of the studs equal to db equal to uh, 179.5 mm okay this is a pitch circle that is uh, the distance between uh, two successive studs is uh, pitch okay pitch of studs means the distance between two successive studs equal to db there is a 180 180 mm so you have to maintain uh, the distance distance between two successive studs equal to 180 mm okay now the last step is uh, thickness of cylinder head the thickness of the cylinder head uh, may be approximately taken as a flat circular plate whose thickness th may be determined from the re relation th equal to square root of uh, 0 0.162 p into d square by sigma c here p is the maximum inside gas pressure already we have considered that p equal 10 times the mean diameter mean pressure mean extra pressure 10 pm okay the value of p equal to 
10 times the mean effective pressure and the value of uh, d is obtained from step one that is a bore diameter sigma c already we have considered in uh, step one that is a uh, 40 mega pascal okay so substitute the value of sigma c and d value and p value then after you will get the answer th that is the thickness of the cylinder head okay here sigma c is called 40 mega pascal already this value considered in step one okay th equal to uh, this value that is uh, 0 0.01369 meters that is uh, 13.69 mm Okay, the thickness of the cylinder head equal to 13.69 mm or rounded value is 14 mm. Okay. Okay, these are the these are the answers for uh, our required our problem, our given problem. So in this in the design of cylinder and cylinder line as uh, we have four steps. We have four steps to determine the value of bore, length of the stroke length uh, or uh, length of the cylinder, diameter of the bolts or diameter of the studs, okay, thickness of the cylinder wall, thickness of the cylinder head, okay, okay, this is the design procedure, okay, okay friends, uh, in next class I will explain design procedure of a piston, how to design a piston piston rings okay piston pin in next class i will explain about uh, design procedure of a piston okay okay friends thank you